Hello everyone, this is quiz 4. Now, uh, this is actually about state space. So, um, we have this Ackermann formula, which we want to use. But in order to be able to use this Ackermann formula, we need to calculate what phi is and what PDA is. And we're basically after that. Um, the inputs are basically A and B matrices. These are uh, system matrices. And we will have a vector of poles which are basically the desired poles. Uh, you can only use, or you're all, you may only use product coefs i length and the for loop, uh, so everything else is basically forbidden. And you, of course you can use symbolic s because of the symbolic toolbox. And that's basically it. We want you to code it from the bare minimum uh, because it's important to remind you of phi and PDA. Now, um, if phi is correct, 50 points. If PDA is correct, 50 points. Um, we have a test script, and you can see this test script is actually uh, defining a system like this, uh, which is a fourth order system. And then we obtain A and B. We pass that to our function Acker data, which is for Ackermann formula data. And then we have the desired poles. It returns phi and PDA. When we use the Ackermann formula, we can basically obtain the uh, k value and we can see that the poles are uh, actually at the position uh, at their location where they should be um, the uh, important thing is that with inputs of any order uh, is kind of the restriction here so if it if i input a i don't know eighth order system it should work for a third order system it should work for a fifth order one it should work so it should be uh, order independent so you should code that uh, order independent that's important and here is basically the test script that you're going to maybe use and uh, this is basically the layout of the function uh, yeah that's basically it other than that it should be quite uh, straightforward uh, yeah this is basically the quiz